The Thieves Guild by Jake Kerr Episode 19 Through the Front Door The light from the hall blinded Allard, and he had to cover his eyes with the back of his hand. As he glanced out, he saw a small shadow rush him, but before he could even raise his hands in defence, the figure was on him, hugging him. Oh, Allard, are you okay? Mela, my dear, I'm so happy to see you. Allard's happiness turned to fear. Why are you leading this escape? You are supposed to be helping Raylan flee. Allard's heart fell. Oh no, Raylan. He's fine. Mela said, letting go of Allard and grabbing his hand. At least I think he's fine. We came to rescue you. Allard stumbled forward. Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. An arrow wound in my shoulder and some bruises. I felt worse after Founder's Day festivities. Allard laughed, but his deep voice quickly returned to a serious tone. What do you mean you came to rescue me? Why didn't you flee? A slight tinge of anger coloured Allard's usually kind voice. It was the Guildmaster's idea. He said we should make it look like he and his friends freed his friend Rafe and you. He believes it will conceal the strength of the guild. Mela tugged on Allard's arm. It is a good plan, Allard. He's right. This buys us time. Allard shook his head. A foolish plan. This was too risky. Our new guildmaster seems to have an affinity for risk. Mela looked over her shoulder. We need to go. I don't know how much time Raylan has bought us. We can argue over the plan when we are all safe in the tower. They marched out of the cell, and although he held his tongue, Allard was alarmed at how things had gone. If Raylan were captured and killed, the council would certainly name a friend of Larson's as Guildmaster Thief, and that would create chaos in the old quarter. The risk was unacceptable. Better Allard die than make this silly escape attempt while hiding the guild's involvement. Hold. Allard said. Mela stopped and looked back as Allard removed the sword and white cloak of the guard. No hood. Let's hope that most of the young knights have forgotten me and my past in this accursed guild. Allard suddenly noticed that there was no blood on the robe. You didn't kill him. I was following Raylan's plan. The smart thing would be to kill him, so I made it appear we didn't know what we were doing. Allard nodded. Raylan is resourceful and not afraid of risks, he thought. A good combination for a thief. When they reached Rafe, there was no hope of cleaning him up. He was bruised and dirty and looked like a prisoner. Mela whispered the plan as the three of them walked up the catacomb staircase. Allard had to struggle not to scream over its idiocy. We are to run out, jump on horses, and just ride to the tower. But a crazy thing confronted him as they exited the catacombs. The entire night tower appeared in disarray. Knights were everywhere, but they were all running toward the front of the tower. Allard looked at Mela, who appeared stunned. The three of them walked right out the front door of the tower, without anyone giving them a second glance. The only problem was that the wagon with their escape horses was surrounded by knights. As they approached, the wagon master was waving his hands, clearly distraught. He stole my horse? The thief stole my horse! He caught Allard's eye and quickly shook his head. Allard took a hard left, and he, Mailer, and Rafe crossed the circle and entered the flats. Did you see that there were only three horses? Mailer whispered. Allard nodded. Raylan escaped. Against all odds, he did it. He couldn't hold back his smile as he said, We need to find a safe house. 